Hey everybody, Brian Tro coming to you today with an episode of Fly Fishing Untangled. Today uh, I'm going to share with you uh, a blood knot and um, it's probably different than anyone that you've seen or that you tie yourself but it still achieves the same result. So uh, the blood knot is probably the best way to attach two pieces of terminal tackle together. Uh, the blood knot is nice and slim. It's really strong. Um, I think a lot of folks avoid it and tie bulkier knots, knots that are weaker, um, because it's difficult. Uh, you, you need like a third hand, um, which, which is probably why I came about uh, this, this different method. So I was, I was really young, uh, starting out fly fishing, and was trying over and over again to tie this, and just was all thumbs. So um, I came up with a different way to tie it. It achieves the same result, um, and I'm gonna share that with you today. So this is like kind of an alternative way to tie the blood knot. And for some of you, um, this may be the trick. This may be the, the, the way that's easiest for you. So let's get started. All right, so for demonstration purposes today, I'm gonna to be using uh, this high-vis backing, this Dacron. Um, if you have this at home, have spare, it's really great for practicing. You can get a good grip on it and you can see it really well. Um, it does bind a little bit more than monofilament. So for today's purpose, I'm gonna take a few less wraps, all right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by wrapping these two together. And I'm going to wrap them together six times. If I was, if I was using uh, monofilament, if I was using tippet, um, I would wrap them together eight times. So I got my six wraps. I'm giving myself plenty of length to work with. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of double it over, and that's solely to free up a hand. So I've got a free hand. And in the middle of this loop, I'm going to come in with my free hand, and I'm going to give a little tug to the Dacron. Now you can see it creates this loop. And that'll stay there, and that'll, that'll stay there uh, even if I'm using monofilament. You pull a little bit uh, of a loop out, and now that's our target, okay? So I'm gonna go back to step one, and with my, my left hand, I'm gonna send a tag end through the loop and kind of hold on to what I got. And then I'm gonna take my other tag in, and I'm gonna go through in the opposite direction, okay? And this is the part of the blood knot I basically have tied it now. All I have to do is seat it. This is the part of the blood knot where it really helps to have a third hand. I'm a fisherman, so I use my mouth quite a bit. But what we want to do is we want to, we want to pull on the two standing lines and not the tag in. And if you watch what happens here, the two will come in. We'll pull that nice and tight. And we've got ourselves a blood knot. And it's just a, a different method, a different order in which you do your wraps and how you tie it, but it achieves the same result. Uh, basically, a blood knot is you know, two clinch knots coming together and holding the tag ends in place. Um, so with finer uh, monofilaments or fluorocarbons, it's a great way to tie this knot. Um, eight wraps, hit your hole in the middle in opposite directions. As always with these knots, you wanna lubricate it and give it another pull to seat it and then come in and trim these tag ends as close as you can. Um, one less thing for you to catch on, you got a nice slim knot. Doesn't make sense to leave big tag ends. So that's Brian's alternate way of tying a blood knot and give it a practice and hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.